Hi guys, I'm Bianca Chia and here I am down at Mercedes-Benz Fashion Week with the lovely duo from Beck and Bridge. Beck and Bridge, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. How are you feeling about this week? Surprisingly relaxed at the moment actually. We We're quite um, excited for our show on Monday. Yeah. Um, it's quite a big show this year so um, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Can you let us in on a, a little bit of secrets about the production? What's going on? Well, we're launching our swim collection, oh, which we're showing with exciting. the main collection. Yeah. So that's um, been a big part of um, thinking through the production for mm -hmm. us. And um, we've got a lot of models this year. How many models? 46, do you have? I think. Wow, 46 at this stage. Models. Yeah. 46 girls, so. Um, and no outfit changes. No outfit changes, wow. which is quite. That's a lot. Nice. There's yeah. a lot of girls walking around. Yes, it is. So it has um, dictated a bit of the production and, you know, but we're excited. It's always nice when there's a finale when you can see the whole collection come exactly. out at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Any uh, key pieces or key inspirations that inspired you through this range? Um, it's got quite a 70s feel. So, um, yeah, the swim collection. Um, so lots of high waists? Um, just that more kind of raw, healthy beauty. Um, Varushka was um, quite a strong influence for us, and that's just carried through the whole collection. And there's also a bit of a, um, a sort of a globe trotting feel in that. There's that um, a bit of a Moroccan influence in some of mm -hmm. the ready to wear, um, yeah. and some of the prints, and yeah, just that. Um, bit of exoticism so yeah. like we've also touched on the glamorous side of the 70s so while we have that raw healthy beauty which is probably the base of the collection there is that um the the glamour a glamorous nod yeah. to the 70s as well so would you say this is your uh, beck and bridge woman i think we always look a little bit to the 70s for just yeah that beck and bridge girl um it's always been an era that we've both responded to. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, particularly this, yeah. this season. And what drove the inspiration for the raw and healthy? Um, I think that's just the Beckenbridge girl, really. Yeah. I mean, she's, um, her lifestyle is about being healthy and, um, and fit and that idea of, of having balance. And that's always been a big um, thing for Becky and I, just mm -hmm. in our lives in general. Um, so it's something that we obviously want to endorse for our yeah. girl, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, your social media, you have a huge following. Uh, do you have any key influences that you use and how do you think this has changed the social media landscape? Look, I think for us at the moment we don't have any retail stores, so we have a lot of wholesalers, but um, social media gives us the opportunity to really um, make sure we create the right branding and message. And um, I guess it's also just so nice to have a creative outlet um, to get your, you know, your branding to the public. So yeah. I think it's just, it's, it allows us to stay really in touch with our customer and stay, I guess, stay relevant with what she wants mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, it definitely gives our brand a voice um, and a chance for us to really interact with our customer. That's right, yeah. Um, yeah, on a daily basis, which is amazing. And uh, is this, so uh, what number is this for your fashion week? Um, I, I think we've go lost count. Yeah. It's over 10. It's over wow, 10. Wow, over yeah. 10. Wow, very well done. Well, um, thanks girls very much for coming down here and uh, interviewing yes. with me today. Uh, good luck with the show. I'll thank be there you. watching because Beckenbridge is one of my favourite brands. Oh, uh, thank thanks you. So much. <laughs> thanks so much for having us but today. Good luck and uh, back to the fashion show, guys. Thank you.